Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Rome 2 Total War. We uh, left off last time on a little bit of a cliffhanger. There is an army hidden somewhere around here that can defend Navisos. We are going to engage, even though we have a significant detriment, according to the AI, against this army. Um, I actually think this is wrong. Uh, they have significant number of slingers. We have a significant number of slingers. We have a significant troop type advantage and, and thing. They just have more dudes. Uh, but what we, I think what we can do is cut this army off uh, as it tries to reinforce. And it should be coming from somewhere, you know, to the north. So I'll position myself to try to cut them off as they approach. Oh, actually, I forgot. This They have uh, set themselves up as a... Uh, They've actually sallied out to find me interesting. Anyways, I'm going to set up, and then we'll figure out what's going to happen then from there, guys. Alright, guys, so I have set up. Um, I am set up right on the line. There's only one single unit of enemy forces directly ahead. Uh, that's the default garrison army. And then we'll see what else comes. Now, those guys, the, the AI is going to have to charge in pretty hard to, to meet their reinforcements in here. So I'm just going to... Move my forces forward. They're walking. Reinforcements approaching. So where are these reinforcements approaching from? That's the question. I don't see them yet. Are they coming from up here? Down here? So I see some small number of reinforcements coming in from over here. So yeah, my goal is to be able to uh, hit their reinforcements pretty hard. This is their main force right here, just a group of skirmishers. In fact, I'm going to send my cavalry directly in against those skirmishers. But here's, yeah, here's the bulk of the AI army coming in disorganized um, and in a bulk line. And I think I can defeat this army. So yeah, I'm going to have my cavalry come on in. I am I want to assemble my my main army basically on top of this hill. But I'm going to hit these guys hard cuz they're just skirmishers. These guys should fall to my cavalry. Once my cavalry sees them. Do they have any cavalry? No, they just have an uh, army that is in disarray. So yeah, we're going to hit these guys. Is that their only general? Is that their main general? It looks like it. So this army should... These guys should fall quickly. They're already wavering. What the hell are you? Wolves? That's cool. There's the additional enemy force. So we've we've completely routed anybody that was here. Are they all dead? Alright, so we've obtained victory there. So I'm gonna have my cavalry move back away from the enemy infantry that is and, and enemy slingers that are slowly approaching. So what are you doing now? So they are assembling into an actual army, so that's good. I mean, good for them. But yeah, my cavalry's gonna want to hit their slingers when the opportunity presents itself. So I am going to... I don't know why this one unit is moving forward, but I am going to now have this army run into position. I don't know why this one unit here is going so far forward, but we'll fix that. Alright, so we are assembling. Looks like their army is turning to fight my cavalry. Oh, and then here's the enemy additional reinforcements. So what I'm going to do is grab my, these two flank forces, have them immediately assemble. 
Let's see if I can get them to hit these flankers quickly. So yeah, the AIs are sending two units, one unit of swordsmen and one unit of of infantry to try to engage my dudes. Why are you guys not running? I mean, these guys are going after my cavalry for whatever reason. So this should be fine. We do have the high ground advantage. I do want... Our hidden units have been discovered. So what I am going to do is pause real quickly. Have all my... These guys reposition themselves behind these other guys. And the reason I'm going to do that is then I can have these guys go into, into hoplite formation. Okay, you guys flee. So yeah, we're going to pause here for just a sec. Because I just want to get everybody into the right formations. Where'd that other army go? Why are you... W oh, you're engaged over there. Interesting. Okay. And then what we're going to do next is get my cavalry to wrap around like this. And then we're going to have them come hit these guys if we can. And I want you guys, yeah, to, to hit there. Did you guys win already? You did? All right, come over here. General, I want you to war cry right into the center of their line. Okay, cool. Now you guys can wrap around, have these guys chasing you down. So yeah, you guys come in to reinforce the flank. Why are you all in this like weird angle? I don't know, but... These guys have some sort of, of pelest or something like that. Um, which is annoying, but okay. Additional forces coming in on that side. Are you guys doing anything, by the way? Whatever, we're gonna hit these guys straight in the flank. It's gonna be pretty heavy hitting here. Everybody else? Yeah, get get these guys just completely fling. These guys are way out of position. They'll be like 20 years before they're ready to do something. Yeah, you guys hold. There's a huge bulk force of enemy forces over here, but I'm going to try to get my army to... Uh, I'm going to try to get my army to... Once any of these flanks fall, I'm going to have them sweep around. That's the plan, at least. And these cavalry can hit some of these lines from the rear, which will also help out. Yeah, this is going to be real interesting. We want to hit these guys hard. the sooner I can get any of these flanks to turn, the faster we win. We are turning the battle in our favor. Oh, that's real good. That's real good for us. Mainly because it just changes the pace by which uh, the AI is willing to break into in our favor. Um, intimidate. Yeah, we need to, you guys just need to all get in here and uh, help break this line here. Wow, these slingers are steady, which is pretty impressive.
Okay, hit these ones next. Did you guys just break? Oh, you did. Beautiful. I want to hit these spearmen because then I can get those guys to join the fight. That's the whole plan here. I'm going to form these, this cavalry up here. I'm actually going to ungroup it, tighten it up, regroup it. Yep, we're turning this battle into our favor heavily. Close enough. Nice. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. Yep, they broke. Two units of hoplites that can assemble here and start turning the enemy flank. Oh, did this side break? It did. So you guys need to reassemble and then we'll have you guys hit that flank. Yep, this battle's going very well. A decent number of enemy troops will escape. Not a lot I can do about that. Oh, the bulk of the enemy army is, is fleeing. Nice, so we'll take the city. I want to hit as much of their fleeing army as I can. Uh, I need to turn off these guys. What the heck? Look at... Th oh. That's really interesting. Oh, you guys stop. That was a really cool view that I just saw where it was showing me what they were targeting and stuff like that. Oh, where's my general? Get in here as well, general. And... No, disabling all the phalanxes. This is awesome. This was an awesome battle. I'm pretty happy with this one. I really need all my cavalry hitting these guys. This is the bulk of their army. We'll go up to speed four. Because we can and we should. Our hidden units have been discovered. What, the battle's over. What do you mean our hidden units have been discovered? This battle is over. There we go. Yeah, you guys get a little experience, free experience. We make sure that if, when their army is after being destroyed, there will be a smaller remaining army. All right, cool. Quit battle. All right, so that went well, guys. Um, we only lost 386 dudes. We killed 1,924. That's uh, real good. We only killed three of our own dudes. Pretty happy about that. Um, so yeah, that was just a great battle. Heroic victory. That's awesome. So this should... Uh, oh, did I just completely defeat, crush that army? It looks like I did. We'll occupy the settlement. Mission successful, capture any settlement. And we actually eliminated them from... from Gameplay. Awesome. Awesome. That was just a real good turn of events. Now, we are getting to the point where it's where I'm going to have to consider raising a new army. You're in the city, right? Yeah. So we should be able to have an edict, edict here in the future. First, we'll start by... Trench Mine Settlement. Reduces my food by one. I got plenty of food. Gives me lead, gives me growth, gives me money. Let's do that. I can only dismantle that, so we'll wait on that. Um, I need money. Is gonna be my main, my main one here. I got plenty of food, so I'm actually gonna take the slightly less food. Get the bowl. I got lots of bowls. Um, more money is good, I think. And I'm out of money. Money. I'm out of the rest of the money. Awesome. This is going real well. And then you are in your own little area. Yeah. Oh, and I... Ah, oh, shit. Um, 
I don't really want you to become this. So I'm just hoping you don't become squaw. Uh, you don't become uh, that shit that happens when you leave something uh, unbuilt. All right. So we could upgrade warrior. So he gains more zeal, more gravitas. His the melee units do better. That seems real good. Um, there's some other real good ones in here as well. But I think I'm going to give him Warrior. And then, yeah, uh, we are going to have to seriously consider building up, uh... Carthage has taken Arminium? I wonder if Carthage has taken Rome. I'm going to send a fleet out as a little expeditionary force to figure out what's going on in the world. Because I'm really curious what's going on over here. And we're keeping our fingers crossed that we don't get uh, screwed. But we've managed to become very powerful in Greece. And that's good. What is going on with the Nori? A dishonorable enemy spy has poisoned the well in one of my settlements in Nevisos. Mission successful. Completely controlled two provinces. Maintained 60 units in total. Is that my current mission or is that the one I just finished? Uh, let's find out. Objectives. Maintain 60 units in total is my current mission. Subjugate Pergamon. Pergamon. Take complete control of Asia or Hellas. Maintain 10 units of the following type. Pikemen, Thorax Pikemen, or Foot Companions. And forge a defensive alliance with the Seleucids. Okay. Lots of options here. Sparta has enemies at the gates, you might say. Um, I need to deal with this potential squalor here, so we'll do that right away. Um, I do want this cultural conversion, so I'm gonna get that going right away as well, because this is only, uh, this is not the right culture. Only making 1600 a month, that's why I want to, uh, not raise an army yet. What's the public order going? So we have minus three public order throughout... Throughout here, so I'm gonna get public order built in Apollonia. Less food. That's okay. What's going on over here? We have we have a public order dis less singing up here too, but that's mainly because we just took Navisos. So that's something to consider. Where's my fleet? Yeah, I want to come around here and, and start exploring what's going on on this side of uh, the world. If I took this army out, would you be upset? Minus 16, so this army needs to stay. Yeah, I really do need to start building up another army somewhere. Um, and so what I'm going to do is raise a general. Um... So I'm gonna get the guy with the cool face mask. Raise army. I really like companion cavalry. Um, and then this army is going to recruit. I'll have you get um three pikes. This is good, and the reason this is good is because it will... I don't like this Spartan army sitting here. Not a big fan of that Spartan army sitting there. I want, I'm want. i really curious what's happening up in Rome. So I want to get this navy up there before I consider ending this episode.
Now you have time to joke about my people with your usual lack of wit before death takes to Oh, apparently Sparta has declared war on me. So I am going to try to summon Athens, and Athens has joined me. So this is an interesting outcome. Unfortunately, this means I do need to bring my army, my navy home. So yeah, this... There's a big Spartan army attacking Athens, and we won't be able to, to save them. I have to bring this army south, which will make these guys much less happy. Yeah, that was to be expected. I want you to hold this down here and then recruit um, another unit of pikemen. Uh, I can't even get any hoplites, but I can get a unit of slingers. I really hope Athens holds out, but Athens, as always, has a random army sitting up in the north. But this is a great time to end this episode, guys. Uh, nice cliffhanger here. Um, we will be able to, we might lose Larissa, but we'll have a, our own big army down here within, within not too long. So that's definitely something to consider. With that all being said, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all. One sec. That was not anything I cared about. Oh yeah, so I'll see you all next time.